It's easy to stay up to date with all things child care, simply click the subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video. How to keep toddler in bed, 5 cool tips. Children are naturally attached to the comfort of being around their parents. The security and warmth of a parent are cherished, but this disrupts their alone time together for most parents. Sometimes parents need their private moments and conversations without their toddler's presence, which usually occurs while the child stays asleep. Parents who have successfully mastered the strategy to keep a toddler in bed after falling asleep enjoy the most. In contrast, other parents go through site searches, wondering what they are doing wrong. At the stage of moving from being a new baby in a crib to sleeping in a big kid bed, toddlers are fond of getting out of bed at night and wandering into their parents' room. With their newfound freedom of movement at night, they will continue to do the same thing and desire to spend more time with their parents. Certain things must be done if you want to stop this habit. Should a toddler fall asleep in their bed? Some little kids are not ready to transition to a toddler bed, although the majority transition between the ages of 1.5 and 3.5 years. It can be scary thinking about how dangerous it can be if your toddler climbs out of their crib, don't rush to buy a new bed the first time it happens. Allowing your toddler to sleep in your bed while you lie next to them is not hard, but it shouldn't be. They limit your sleep, and sometimes you might nod off early, which reduces your productivity. It isn't easy because you want your kid to sleep, but you also need sleep. They need to be comfortable in their beds. 3 Reasons Why They Can't Sleep Separation Anxiety No Bedtime Routine Wrong Medications Methods of Sleep Training Your Toddler 1. Make it an Achievement and Bedtime Routine Introducing something to a child is all about mindset and the theme created around the event. When you make it a great success for your child to sleep independently, they become more welcoming to the activity. The reward system is also a good way to get your toddler interested in sleeping alone. When they're given a gift or a token for falling asleep in their bed all night, they become more proactive in getting the reward, which makes accomplishing the task easier with time. Creating a toddler sleep routine where your toddler can get comfortable before going to bed can help keep them in their bed longer. These routines include a bedtime story before bed or having a shower before bed. A visual bedtime sticker chart would have images of what your toddler does at bedtime in the same order every night. 2. Create a calm environment. Making sure children go to bed and stay asleep can be tricky. For at least 30 minutes before sleep time, make sure to create a calm environment for your toddler. Try reading a book till they are feeling tired. Also, Consider simple additions in your toddler's room like pictures of family members, warm lighting, and a stuffed animal. It will convey a sense of home, and the toddler will fall asleep in no time. 3. Get rid of distractions. Children love distractions, and their interest keeps getting fed. It can be challenging to get an excited toddler to stay in bed after bedtime while being in a room with people, food, and toys. Make sure that there's peace in the house. If the room is close to where the TV is, keep the volume low because it is only a matter of time before they get out of bed to explore. 4. Providing comfort during nightmares. If a child wakes while having night terrors and runs to sleep in your bed overnight, then it's okay to provide a haven for them under your covers. You can leave the door open to make the toddler feel safe. However, once they have their bearings and feel calm, they should be placed back in their bed. Try surrounding them with various reminders of comfort to make them feel safe and loved. The key is teaching kids how to be comfortable and independent in and out of bed. Be active during the day. During the day, let your toddler let off some steam by being active outdoors. If indoors, ensure that the necessary precautions have been carried out, like installing a baby gate to protect the toddler from dangerous zones. Some parents have no issues with their toddler staying outside their own bed in the bedroom, so using a baby gate to keep the child contained might work. The toddler might associate with the gate once a habit of falling asleep by it is established. This can help release some stress-inducing hormones that keep children up at night.
Hope you got value from this video, remember to click the subscribe button and hit the bell so 